When we declare a constant array in TypeScript, then the elements inside of that array can still be modified. So here in this number array, we can modify the numbers one to three because the inner part of the array is still mutable and only the reference of the array is not. So when using a pop method, you will be allowed to remove an element from the array or with push, you can even completely put different elements inside of it. Fortunately, TypeScript has a special type, which is called read-only array. So we can use a type assertion here next to our array, and then we define the read-only type to be used with the type of number. This will create then a number array that is read-only and cannot be modified inside. So using pop won't be allowed. You will see that it's a read-only number array now, so you cannot remove elements or push completely new ones inside. To save some characters, there is also a shorthand syntax. So instead of read only array, we can just use read only and then define a number array here. If you want to be very precise, then you can change also the number array to a specific tuple type. So with that tuple, we will make sure that TypeScript knows that only one, two and three are inside of this array. This is especially helpful if you want to access an element by its array index, because TypeScript will know which element will be returned when accessing a specific index in the array. The last trick I want to show you is that you can deduplicate some of the code here. So we defined the one, two, three twice, and we can circumvent that by just using an as const assertion. That will create also a read-only array and give you the benefit of having a shorter syntax.